The U.S. Marine Reservist who's jailed in Mexico will be the subject of a hearing in Washington, D.C. tomorrow. Now we've learned TV personality and ex-Marine Montel Williams will testify on his behalf. News 13's Kimberly King has new developments in the Andrew Tamaresi case. Kim? Darcel, I've been watching Montel's Twitter feed in the last two hours and looking at it the past several days. He's tweeting constantly to raise awareness about the reservist diagnosed with PTSD. He wants to do all he can to shine a light on the case and help his mother bring her son home. Emmy Award winning TV personality and now outspoken political commentator Montel Williams will testify before a Congressional Foreign Affairs Subcommittee to help get Sergeant Andrew Tamaresi free. Montel knows Tamaresi has been diagnosed with PTSD. How dare we, as a nation, contemplate sending more of our treasures off to die? And then once they put their life on the line, we don't take care of them when they come home. On his Twitter feed, Montel has championed Tamaresi's cause nonstop under the hashtag Free Our Marine. We leave no man behind. Don't leave this one behind. Tamaresi has a sister here in Skyland. Local veterans support group Honor Air continues to give major support, raising $20,000 for the reservists' ongoing legal costs. A psychiatrist testified yesterday before a Mexican judge that Andrew does suffer from PTSD. His mother, Jill, spoke with CNN and remains hopeful. So I'm feeling like there are more dots that have been connected. I wish that the 911 tape had been submitted and completed through the evidence file and the forensic crime scene showing there are no signs at the border that night, but at least there are quite a few dots that are connected, so I am feeling more optimistic. Tamaresi served two tours of duty in Afghanistan. He was in San Diego for PTSD treatment when he accidentally crossed the border into Mexico at night. U.S. Congressman Mark Meadows will also be part of tomorrow's hearing. He spoke with us by phone. There is precedent for having a hearing to raise the profile but also to put pressure on foreign governments as they see it making news here in the United States. The president didn't even bring it up when he spoke to the president of Mexico. Uh, I can tell you that uh, some very high officials on our side have reached out to uh, their government to see if they can uh, speed up the process. I spoke also with Montel Williams' representative tonight who said Montel's testimony tomorrow will criticize many, including the president, for what he calls a lack of political courage. But he says members of the committee have worked hard as well as the U.S. consulate staff in Tijuana to get the sergeant free. His mother has told the head of Honor Air that progress is being made to get her son home.